Okay, so now that all my ingredients are dry, I am going to add some black seed, cumin seed, um, into this mixture to help the turmeric be absorbed better. Turmeric really um, can't be taken alone for um, absorb for reasons of it needs uh, the black seeds to be absorbed into your system. So I'm just gonna, oops, I'm just gonna add a little bit here. I think that's enough. And now we're gonna go grind. time for Contemplation Corner and today I want to talk to you about something that concerns me and we are in a whole new paradigm shift in this country and without getting political it seems that our country is turning for the worst and we're going to be entering a time of coming into the country. Now, as you know, a lot of Christian voices are being silenced, and this is concerning, and so there's lots that we can do, but how do we maintain our serenity, peace, and comfort through so many changes um, that don't look like are going to bode well for the nation? It can make you lose sleep at night. But I want you to think about this. We need to toughen ourselves up, don't we? And I'm not talking about wearing biker stuff, p taking on profanity when we speak. That's not kind of the tough I'm talking about. Um, I want you to think about your great-grandparents and think about how much tougher they were than we are today. Um, that's one of the reasons why I love learning from the past so much because it's made such a big difference in my life and I am very inspired by those people that lived not only in what we would call town and country city and out in rural areas each of those different groups of people city people and country people had to adapt and survive. Now your city people a hundred, 150 years ago, 200 years ago, in cities you had to learn how to live within cramped quarters. You had to take the three ingredients you had 
and make it last for a whole week and create different recipes with only those three items you had. And so that was one type of survival. The people in the country, they had to survive knowing that there's no one around to help them. Your next neighbor would be five miles away. You had to learn how to survive in all kinds of weather, snow and 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 harsh dust storms and all kinds of weathers. So no matter what kind of people we're talking about, whether these were farm people or whether these were city people, those people a hundred years ago and further back, they knew how to survive. They were tough and we can learn from them, I think. Well, I'm starting today off pretty intense, aren't I? <laughs> um, I'm just drinking side muller today, no tea, no coffee. But I chose this mug. Mm. Because it was perfect for today's theme, strength. So how can you and I learn how to be tough? And it sounds funny coming out of me because I don't look tough, sound tough, and I'm, I'm not really a, a tough person. I'm actually a very gentle person. But I think it's important to learn that you can be tough and feminine at the same time. And I'm sure a lot of you agree with me on that, but how do we do it? I think there are simple ways that we can do things to just make ourselves a little bit more calloused so that we are better survivors. We don't want to be the people breaking down and having hissy fits and emotional outbursts when things don't go our way. And if our country starts going and heading this way, we're going to have a lot of people not doing well. And we want to keep our heads above the water and we want to be strong. Now, the number one way to do that, I believe, is embrace the scriptures, embrace the Bible. It will make you sharp, smart, and wise. It will help you be prudent and it will show you ways to get through tough times ahead. That's number one. Number two, there are simple things you can do in your life just to strengthen yourself. Perfect example is it's January. It is so blustery today. It's freezing outside. Oops. <laughs> Excuse me. What was that? But um, in this kind of weather, <laughs> In this kind of weather, this winter harsh weather, I tend to hibernate and I like to stay inside and stay cozy. I'm sure you do too, for those of you in the north. And instead, I wrapped myself up, got myself outside, and I did a mile or two of walking. Not only because it's part of my health regimen, which I've spoken about in other videos, but because it's part of my toughen up routine. Make myself, push myself, make myself do something I really don't want to do. I think that's something really, really good to do. Another thing I believe that will toughen you up is fasting. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing this without the okay of your doctor, but the Bible endorses fasting. I have, through my whole Christian life, fasted and it really does toughen you up. And it helps you recognize, yeah, I'll survive without food for a day. You don't have to panic. You know, people panic when they miss one meal. And so fasting is a good way to toughen ourselves up. Remember though, always couple fasting with prayer. Another way to toughen yourself up a little bit I have found that making yourself eat something that you don't like, you force yourself to eat it, is another good opportunity. Now, for instance, I'm not a big fish eater, or at least I wasn't. But I knew I needed the protein, I needed the benefits that fish has. So I used to make myself eat it. You know what it comes down to is, it's basically called growing up, being an adult, being mature, 
doing things you don't like to do. That's how you toughen yourself up, and that's how you don't end up being one of these snowflakes melting because you didn't get your way, or because things in life didn't work out the way you wanted them to. So I hope you consider what I'm chatting with you about today. Um, I'm hoping that our country does not go the way of this ideology, um, but only God knows the future. But since he holds the future in his hands, we can trust that if we do our part, we'll come out okay. And with that, you will have serenity, peace, and comfort. <laughs> so I just hope this is some food for thought, and I hope it blessed you. Now, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and share this with someone you know. Now, until I see you next time, whatever is good, whatever is right, whatever is noble, whatever is pure, whatever, whatever is praiseworthy, think on these things.